Hey guys, what's up? This is Garmin. Welcome to Ace Combat 7 on the PC. I'm very happy to be playing this because the last time I played through an Ace Combat story was about 13 years ago. In 2006, I played through Ace Combat 0, which is where I got the name Gom from. Uh, and so I'm happy to be kind of going through this. I wanted to go through the other campaigns before. Before Ace Combat 7 came out, but Ace Combat 7's out, so instead we're gonna play Ace Combat 7, and then later on down the line, I'll go off to play at least 4, 5, 0, and 6, maybe 3. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and start this up and see what kind of grand adventure we can get into as we bumble our way through all of this. Now, let's see. Uh, the standard difficulty for those who are used to Ace Combat's controls, a hard difficulty for those who want a bit more than the usual challenge, and then easy for those who are new to the Ace Combat series. I mean, I'm pretty newbie, but we're gonna go for normal, because I'm also not like an expert. Last time I played an Ace Combat game in any serious capacity was 13 years ago as a young teenager. We're just doing normal. Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? It does to me, a hell of a lot. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Even so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean air defense the day my dad died in battle. You know, Abby, I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. But with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was all alone. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. You know, I hope she's cleared for this. I hope it isn't like, oh, by the way, you're in a no-fly zone, here's the drone. Straight up, through the clouds, higher into the sky, 
Then I saw Osea's fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chasing that thing. Doing 30 Gs at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erusian emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. <laughs> Jesus. Well, she flew up into a, I guess not really a war zone, but a bad place to be. Is everyone here? Settle down. I said settle down. You have all been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Until today. Earlier, our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Communication systems went down immediately afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhan ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft, then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will... What the hell was that? There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft confirmed overhead. What? How is that possible? So we're farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. We're clear Spray to attack the back, units. right? Take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. Yeah. This is not a drill. Okay, we get to go to our first little sortie here. Take down the hostile bombers. May 15, 2019. <laughs> uh I love I love fake universe timelines. Okay, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna start this off. Oh, our name is Trigger. Cool. I don't know what they're gonna give us at first. We actually, oh, we don't really have a choice right now. We're just gonna be in whatever they give us. Is everyone oh, here? Whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> I thought maybe there'd be a separate briefing entirely, but yeah, let's go ahead and start this off. Now, as a fair warning. I don't really, I'm not like super into military things. So if I don't know military you know, jargon, I apologize. I don't know the history of all the planes. I can't tell you when each plane was made, all the troubles that was had, anything like that at all. But I'm gonna fly at things and I'm gonna try and shoot them out of the sky. That's all I can really hope for. All right. Now do I have, I think that's really all I can choose just to a plane, and in terms of base basic stats, we have our F-16 here, and then we have the Phantom, and the Phantom looks cool, but I think we're gonna go with the Fighting Falcon, the F-16. So let's head on out. Beach squadron, aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. So we're gonna probably be the silent protagonist, right? Silent. That Rebel. usually happens. Alright, let's take off. Uh, mage two. Okay. I didn't know if my character was gonna actually say it. Yeah, Golem Squadron, join up with us. Let's do this. Golem Squadron, it's go time. 
All right, Mage One's clown. Uh, I'm not really flying information with you. I'm sorry. I'm going after this target, the 295. All unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst and stay sharp. Welcome. Trigger, I'm your wingman. You fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. Okay. You gotta keep an eye out for enemy bombers. Well, I'm right okay. behind this guy, so we're gonna we're gonna go Looks ahead and like just bomb him out. It's showtime, Trigger. Let's see if you can handle the spotlight. Wants to. I sure You're hope so. so. Yeah. I had to fill an empty spot, so. Don't worry, Mage One. I'll do a good job of pretending to be a decent pilot. Not bad, Mage Two. Now I did put it on expert controls because I actually just prefer that. I suppose I don't know how much of an expert I'd really be, but I like it more rather than just like like if I want to just. Adjust myself left and right. We got other ways to do that. Ooh, we got some pretty heavy cloud coverage here. Yeah, I should get out of it. Oh, hey, everyone's up here. I thought they were actually below the clouds. All right. I don't need the the map to cover up everything. By the way, I'm also currently sick. So if I sound weird, I apologize. But. Alright, closest enemy to me are these two to the right. The MiG-21s? Are they all MiG-21s up here? No. We're gonna take out the sport craft. And I'm gonna hope that I'll end up crashing into my friends. I don't really need to be... I could have shot him down with the gun. I'm going to go for quite a few opportunities to machine gun things. Mage 2, targets in range, pair of bombers. Trigger, stay calm. You got this. I know the kid's shown some promise, but let's remember, he's still barely got his feet wet. Hey, I'm sorry. Trigger, don't forget your special weapon. I don't literally already on it. <laughs> nice. That's it. It's great when it's simple. Enemy bomber down. Nice going, Mage 2. Not too shabby, Mage 2. You still got a long way to go, kid. I'll give you some pointers back at base if you can make it in one piece. Are there still more targets? Of course there are. One over. Tally two bandits. Copy that. It's a bomber and an escort. Oh, their trigger settle down. Mage 2, maintain your element with Mage 1. Do not break off. Ugh. Mage 1, make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Wilco. Call him 2, let's maintain element. Copy that, Commander. I've got your six covered, sir. Radio. Look, Mage. Mage one. I'm going to take out everything here. You don't have to worry about about much. Let's practice some machine gun attacks. Are there any drones? Verify. Drones? Are you kidding me right now? Jesus. This is the kind of shit that really chaps my ass. All right, just trying to get a bit of an idea of how the machine gun works. I didn't know if I was supposed to be aiming for the the big circle that pops up, or still just aiming for my normal crosshair. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm doing a bad job at being Mage Two. Uh, we we could let Mage One lead the way, but he's just too damn slow. Sorry, that's rookie Todd, but I am a rookie. So it's what happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I should probably just stick to missiles for the most part. But we're already behind this guy, so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The harbor is under heavy fire. Mage 2's bandit confirmed down. They can burn with their whole payload. I mean, I'm taking out people. Hesitating for a split second could be the difference between life and death. Stay sharp, think fast. 
Roger that. Are there just like four bombers over there? Oh, there's still somebody behind us. Uh, our allies can take them out. They took out the space elevator. No way. I have no idea if it was destroyed or if it's under attack or do we even have a space elevator? Honestly, I'm not sure. Missile launch. Bandit is down. Damn, I'm spiked. All right, I'm going to turn back towards the bombers. They're the primary targets. They can get things done, and that's never a good sign. Fox three. Oh, everything's down. Wow. To Gollum and Mage. Job well done. All bombers are down. Our radar shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. Mission accomplished. I want to land. Good going, Mage 2. Flight Commander looks like he's got what it takes. Let's slow down. It's just one sortie. Don't try to be a hero. I want you to make it back in one piece, you hear? Yeah, I gotta fight the boss man on this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was getting ahead of myself. Did you confirm any drones? What's the deal with all the drones? Column 1, return to base and report for debriefing. Oh, there's the damage to the carrier. Should I land? Princess Cassette. What's up? What's going on, Princess? Tricky, your call sign is page two. Verify and feedback. Oh, this is cool. We get to... We can kind of, like, see how we... We played out all... You, they, they don't bother accelerating the sound. That's fine. That's understandable. So... We could, like, skip this. What do we look like as we're flying around, though? That's the... The real question here. Camera angle, here we go. Uh, we're, we're just- we, we're just there. We fly around, we shoot things down. Here's some missiles. Kablamo. Well, not yet. We still have a- a while to get to him. There we go. Will it snap to the shot of- no! Alright, it doesn't like dynamically show the missiles flying off towards the target, you just kind of accept it. That's fine, let's just- we're skipping through this. Okay. Advanced small diameter bomb. Homing bombs that can lock onto four targets simultaneously. And I, that's all I've got a chance to read. We are currently assessing the damage to the base. We have confirmed that the aircraft carrier Albatross was sunk. No! We know the attacking bogeys were from Arusia. International Union peacekeeping forced bases all over the Union continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. So this is war, war right? By failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks. Okay, so what was the the Princess of Rugia gonna say? Was she gonna justify the attacks? She gonna defend the attacks any kind of way? That's the... The real question. Also, this is a neat little thing. This has been a previous Ace Combat game showing your, uh... Your movements around the field, but I just like the way it looks. Okay, the aircraft tree has been unlocked in campaign mode. You can now equip upgrade parts in campaign mode. Cool. Well, I'm ready to move on, unlock more planes, take out a hell of a lot more planes, and see what's going on with this As war. At 1 p.m. today, the Kingdom of Arugia has declared war on the Ocean Federation. As soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. The Air Defense Force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate the drones were secretly transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely. The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. We have yet to hear back from the Department as to the fate of Ocean carriers currently at sea. Hold on. I've just received breaking news. 
The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuzha, has been seized by the Erujian Army. Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Oh, he's dead. Our sources in government tell us it was Harling's policies regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. Located near Erujia, on the continent of Yuzha, the space elevator has been under construction for some time now. The Executive Office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhan peacekeepers, to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay tuned for further updates. Breaking news from ENN. Are we going to see their side? Osea launched an attack on the capital today, striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erujian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Osean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erujian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. <laughs> and then they killed civilians! The uh, so they're screwed. bad. 20 years ago, the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erujian Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war, one they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. Uh-huh. They even tried saving the Yuzhans, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha. Paid for by the Oceans. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Arusia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Arusia went from being a republic back to being a kingdom. When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. The second the declaration hit the news, Erujian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. Well, that's good at least. President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened and disappeared. Then, while that was going on, the Erujian ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military. And not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erujia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. That's bad timing. I assume she lives getting shot down. Otherwise, she wouldn't be able to tell us the story. Or maybe... Maybe... In case you were wondering? Yeah. I survived. Yeah, there you go. Alright. I crashed in a bombed-out Ocean Air Force base. Then, got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace, to being at war. All in the blink of an eye. Oh, come on. You attacked first. I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship, too. We headed off down south for several days, and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Arusia, on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats, and the base, the fences were topped with razor wire, the tower had a searchlight and machine guns, and a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Sounds like a prison. The gun was aimed at the yard. 
This was a prison. Yeah! This place looked like a full-on base, but half the tanker trucks were just big balloons, and the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. Sounds like a decoy base. The whole base. place was just one big fat lie. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought, that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So, I tried to escape. <laughs> they found out. And set the dogs on me. Yeah, I mean... That's what happens when an escape plan goes wrong. So what is our part in all this? Eruja has made a declaration to the Ocean Federation and all countries on the Yuzhan continent stationing the IUN Peacekeeping Force that we are now at war. Right after the declaration was made, surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage to our armed forces. Forces aligned with Eruja are currently appearing throughout Yuzhia. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent, and they are now encroaching on us in the east. Additionally, the multinational space elevator has been seized by the Erusian military. After the previous war, the space elevator became both a symbol of peace and a valuable asset in the fight against growing energy concerns. Whoever has control of it will have enormous influence over the entire continent. So what you're we saying not turn a blind eye to this critical situation. Is that we're taking it back? The Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advance element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. The enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar along the roads. You are to destroy them. They should not pose much of a threat. You say that, sir. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will draw more enemy air support. If that happens, fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority. Okay, so we've got some ground targets to take care of. Hmm. So we should probably set ourselves up for that. Radar vehicle, APC... Okay. You can to obtain- wait, what? You can to obtain aircrafts, uh, weapons and aircraft parts at the aircraft tree to gain the upper hand of missions. Right, okay. We have an aircraft tree. Points awarded depending on your performance in missions and matches. They can be exchanged for new aircraft, special weaponry, and upgrade parts on the aircraft tree. You receive them in campaign mode for each mission you complete, and in multiplayer mode for each match you play. The better your performance, determined by your completion time, number of kills, etc., the more points you can obtain. Use MRP and aircraft tree to obtain more powerful aircraft, weaponry, and upgrade parts, giving you more of a fighting chance in the air. Neat. Okay, so items are connected by lines. Uh, we need to unlock the item before it. To get the same one, or to get the one later on down the line, okay. Some items, however, require you to meet certain conditions before you can gain access to them. Fine. When you acquire a new aircraft, you will automatically be given a special weapon, but the remaining two need to be purchased with MRP. Alright. Spend your MRP wisely, as you cannot dispose of any aircraft, weapon, or your upgrade parts once you've obtained them. Cool. Fine. I'll be careful with what I spend my money on, which means I'll probably be super stingy. Some aircraft and special weaponry are better suited to anti-air combat, others to anti-surface combat. The key to a successful mission lies in choosing the appropriate setup. Alright. I mean, I'm probably always going to want to be, like, capable of doing air-to-air -air combat, so we'll see what I end up going for. Fighter. Boasts excellent maneuverability, ideal for air-to-air -air combat. Multi-role. Adapts well to a variety of combat situations while not excelling in any particular area. Attacker. Sturdy aircraft uh, capable of excellent anti-service combat. Neato. Am I going to get other airplanes here? Aircraft? And then all of these are pretty simple. Flight speed, maneuverability, reliability, anti-air capability, air to, air, air, yeah, air to surface capability, gotcha. Aircraft special weaponry and upgrade parts that have varying costs that only apply in, in multiplayer mode. Okay. Well, I'm not worried about that.
<laughs> Can I accelerate this? Okay. So what do we what do we what do we want? What do we want? Well, how much how many points do we even have? We have 233,000. Neat. I did play a bit of multiplayer, but I did shit in those because it was basically just spinning around in circles, hoping to hit someone. Uh air to air burst missiles. If they are about to be evaded, they will explode even if it is not a direct hit. Ooh, nice. Bombs that home in on a locked target, designed to explode once they've penetrated the target's armor. That is for ground targets. So I should either buy this or I could buy another plane. The F-14D Tomcat has higher base stats than the F-16, so that's good. Well, what about the F-2A? Multi-roller craft based on the F-16, designed with the country's needs in mind, it shows greatest strength in interdictions at sea, and can hold its own in aerial combat. Its unofficial nickname is Viper Zero. Okay, neat. Mirage, a light fighter with delta wings and no horizontal tail wing. Nickname Mirage, its fly-by-wire gives it great stability. Okay. MIG. Medium-sized fire developed as a replacement for a contemporary lead, uh, lead plane such as the MiG-21. Its excellent handling makes it a superior fighter, and it was predicted to be pitted against the F-15. Stat-wise, the Tomcat and the Fulcrum are very similar with, with a few differences in speed, mobility, and then obviously the different weapons. Uh, this one starts off with... And air missiles does still have ground target stuff. That's good. I think I'm gonna go for the F-14. Keep it simple. Uh, let me see what other ones there are. Though, ooh, hello. We got the A-10. How do I get the A-10? Huh. I might have to advance down a few different trees. I'm not fully sure. What's over down here, though? Increase the standard missiles, homing capabilities, and speed. Multiplayer only. Oh. All of this is multiplayer only. Oh, jeez. Wow. Okay, completely ignoring the bottom tree, then. You got it. So, F-14D! Purchase, yes. It also just looks really cool. But I bet it would look cooler with different paint. If they let us get our different paints. Okay. We'll probably grab our upgrade. Enhances, uh, enhances aircraft yaw maneuverability. Why not? I have the money. That's how governments work. <laughs> Why not? We have the money. Oh, if I wanted to, I could buy the A-10 right now. I mean, we're doing air to ground, but we know there's going to be air support, so we should be cautious. Oh my god, 285,000. It's got better stats than the F-14, though, so I mean, uh, <laughs> we might do it. Ooh, look at all these as we start seeing names that we recognize all over the board. <clears throat> we're starting with the we're the second mission of the game. We're just we're gonna grab some ground bombs. So that way we have some options and then we're good. Uh can I choose my plane right now? Oh wait, no no no. I keep forgetting the briefing is something else entirely. <laughs> 